Hello YouTube, this is Christian coming to you with another knife review. Um, this time we're talking about the Giant Mouse Ace line and uh, on the table that is the Ace Grant in uh, the red and black uh, colorway. So um, this particular knife um, I've been using a lot and uh, I can really say I, I am in love with that particular design. I, I have it in a number of, of versions and uh, this one is on the table because uh, I really like uh, the contrast between uh, the red and the black DLC stone washed plaid. Um, my, my son calls it uh, the Deadpool knife. Um, it is uh, not necessarily what I would call it but I think he's right on the button. Um, it, it just uh, screams out use me. Um, it, it is uh, finely designed, it is uh, very ergonomic, um, it has uh, for me about uh, the absolute perfect plate length at around about 3.4 inches, 3.3 inches I believe uh, out of memory and um, has been uh, my day-to-day -day carry knife for, for a long time. So usually I don't go for black DLC coated um, uh, just because I'm always uh, a little bit worried about uh, scratches and, and rubbing off of that color um, but in a stone washed finish and uh, especially how this one is has, is done you can see that there are some marks there from from usage uh, I, I don't mind um, it's, it's not like you have that high gloss black finish where uh, every small scratch um, is, is, is a pain uh, um, it is just part of uh, what what this knife looks like you can see also on the on the pocket clip we have a fair bit of wear happening there and it all adds up to a really nice character that kind of says well look um i'm i'm not a safe queen i'm not living on a cupboard i'm i want to get out there i want to get used and that is exactly what what this knife is to me um as opposed to what uh Giant Mouse is usually doing in terms of knife steel. Um, they usually go with an Almax, which uh, I find nothing to be wrong with. Um, this particular version comes uh, curiously in M390, um, which is an excellent choice. And uh, I have to say, uh, from my day-to-day -day usage, it performs exactly like my other M390 or 20CV knives uh, with a very, very nice uh, edge holding capability. Um, the one thing you want to be perhaps a little bit careful about, especially if you're like me, if you if you like uh, slicey knives, I tend to alter uh, the angle to around about 18 to 19 degrees uh, on on the cutting edge. Um, and with a steel like M390 or 20CV, uh, you're risking um, that you're getting a little bit of chipping. But so far, uh, so good. Um, no accidents so far, and I didn't have to uh, grind any uh, big dents out of it, and it's been holding up really well. So um, kudos to Giant Mouse on uh, the hardening of this particular steel. Um, that seems to be spot on and is performing really well. Um, as you can see, um, they do um, also put put in a backspacer um, that is uh, in a in a plex stone wash. Uh, I, I personally love that uh, because in my environment I quite often come uh, in touch with with sand with garnet uh, from a water jet blasting machine, and that just inevitably means that I'm getting a fair bit of crit and sand inside um, inside um, the pivot me mechanism. And uh, say so I have unfortunately I have to clean my knives out uh, frequently, and since I'm a lanyard guy, I uh, always appreciate um, a lanyard cutout um, that is independent from the scales. So uh, for me, that just means it makes it nice, easy, nice and easy and straightforward to take uh, the scale off without uh, untying my lanyards and uh, get to the internals for for a thorough clean, uh, which is appreciated and. Uh, an important bit of functionality from my end. The pocket clip on this particular knife is reversible so um, you can see it's a, a wire pocket clip uh, that is deep carry and um, it is um, held in place by the means of these two slots where the wire um, meshes into um, maybe 
we can do a little bit of a close up there uh, and that uh, retaining screw is holding it in place uh, really nicely so you can uh, switch on to the other side if you if you're lefty and that is your preferred way of uh, carrying your knife um, so that's a nice feature um, apart from that you have T8 hardware on on those two main retaining screws and uh, unfortunately you have T6 on the smaller ones um, and point of criticism there is um, that uh, they're quite easy to strip so uh, I, I'm very very careful uh, with those T6s but, um, but it's um, really something you want to only nip up um, and if you have a little bit of blue Loctite available by all means put it in to, um, to secure them in place but don't over talk, talk them um, they can strip and in that case it will be really hard to to get them out again and uh, get it all as it should be. Um, in giant mouse fashion um, you have a crown spine um, that that always is appreciated. It is just a lovely feature and uh, you can see as, as a knife closes uh, they didn't just stop there. Um, every little feature around here at the choil everything is nicely knocked down uh, and, and it's just looking beautifully. Um, you have a generous sharpening choil um, so you, you're not ending up with a premature smile after you're uh, sharpening your knife so there's a fair bit uh, in a rather uh, steep edge there where the grind uh, goes to uh, the full stock thickness um, so that gives you a fair bit of uh, of life out of uh, grinding that particular edge um, out of the box uh, this knife also came with an even grind and it was sharp uh, personally I prefer a little bit of a steeper angle so I, I just sharpened it to a different angle and uh, that uh, usually works better for me. Um, also um, one thing um, that is great is a forward uh, located um, jimping. Um, this is perfect. Uh, you, you get your finger just there in front of the sharpening choil. You have a little bit of a landing spot there on the on the scales as well. So your finger can sit in there quite comfortably without risking uh, to be nicked and uh, it gives you a nice position for your thumb to rest on and it gives you lots of traction there. They also put a little bit of jimping uh, over the back there. For me, um, it's hard to see, there it is. For me it's not really uh, something I need, mostly because I have the lanyard there and that uh, provides a little bit of a point uh, where, where I get additional fr uh, friction from but I'm not sure if it would do anything uh, much in terms of friction if uh, if the lanyard wasn't there um, that's not much of a point for me but um, yeah this is ergonomically great it's a perfect length for me uh, the knife has a nice belly um, and a nice tip also good for all kinds of uh, penetration so um, that is really uh, a very functional plate in in terms of action uh, this one came just about perfect. Um, this is for me uh, a reverse flick knife. You can thumb flick it, um, no problems there. It just lends itself more to, to the middle finger flick, uh, which is just a natural way for me to, to open this particular knife. Everything else uh, is possible, so you can slow roll it. Um, you can flick it out with the thumb, um, so that's all. All good, but naturally the way you want to open it is with, with your middle finger, or at least I do. Um, that that comes mo uh, most naturally. Um, closing action um, also uh, excellent, excellent. Uh, just falls shut, and we don't have any significant plate play. Actually, no plate play whatsoever in that knife. Um, as far as engagement is concerned, you can see it's perhaps a little bit on the early side, but. Uh, I did some spine wrecking tests with that knife and uh, it sits in there nicely, snugly. Um, so they get, did really get that one right. Uh, the, the liners um, are inset. So you can, if I twist it, perhaps see it, perhaps not. You know, well, they're actually inset relatively far. 
it's a little bit hard to see. Um, but you, you don't see any of the metal underneath. Uh, it looks as if it was a solid micata scale, really. Um, and as far as uh, the micata is concerned, um, I love it. Um, it changes a little bit. Um, it has that uh, whitish uh, uh, color to it, but um, if you, and th this is because I just cleaned it with some Windex, um, then uh, that white uh, comes out a little bit, which adds to the character. On the other side, um, after some use, it turns into more solid red um, as it gets saturated with uh, a little bit of oil from your hand and uh, uh, other contaminants that you encounter. Um, it, it turns a little bit more, more reddish and, and the white goes away. Uh, if you like it better that way, um, by all means, um, just just leave it as it is, let it age. Um, if you're like me, I like that kind of white contrast there on the scale. Um, it, I feel it complements the knife uh, quite nicely in uh, combination with the Plaque DLC uh, played. Um, then uh, just a periodic Kleenex with some window cleaner uh, or soapy water will do the trick and uh, it comes back to that uh, whitish red. So um, yeah I have to say uh, well done um, Giant Mouse. Um, this is one of my favorite knives. Um, uh, I love a lot of the Giant Mouse uh, knives. I, I love the Jutland. Uh, I love the Tribeca. Uh, both of those had uh, a number of quality issues. Uh, X Factory I believe. Um, this one came absolutely perfect and I was uh, amazed. I was kind of expecting a little bit uh, uh, of a little bit of need for adjustment, perhaps in the in the um, liner lock or in the pivot uh, or centering issues, but um, this one came spot on, and um, yeah, um, I'm really quite happy with that one, and uh, uh, it's been uh, my uh, daily companion for for a lot of days, and uh, it is certainly one that will stay in my collection. So this is a warm recommendation um, as far as uh, the Ace Grant is concerned. Um, I had no hiccups with it. I heard that some knives had, had issues also from, uh, from this particular line, uh, but uh, I got lucky on this one. Um, and if they all came like that, um, then I have to say it's uh, probably one of my favorite knife brands um, from, from a design perspective, but uh, also from, from, from a usage perspective. So. Um, yeah, uh, thank you for dropping in and uh, see you around. Have a good weekend. Bye.